Okay, in the previous video we created a schematic and in this video we're going to create netlist and finally export the schematics to PCB new. The circuit board program is called PCB new and this is that program. But let's start to open up the uh, schematics and here we have our schematic. And each component has a connection to other components through a net or a, a wire. And these connections are called netlists. And these connections are described in a netlist file. So let's create a netlist, generate netlist. And you can generate it for PCB new, which is the program we are going to use. Or if you have another PCB program like ORCAD or CAD star, you can export to those program as well. So yes, create that list and we can save it in the same folder. Call it switch and the extension name is .net. Save. Now we have a net list, but before we can open up a PCB new to create the printed circuit board, we need to associate this component, which is in this schematic, with a footprint that should be on the printed circuit board. So to do that, we need to go into this uh, CV PCB to associate components and footprints. There isn't any such file. That's OK. So this is the button, the diode, the resistor and the switch. So we should, um, the battery, we should associate some um, footprints for these components. So let's start with the resistor. And then we select, say, uh, 0805 uh, surface mount resistor. And if we at the same time want to have a look at how that looks, the footprint looks, we can click this. Let's double click it. And now we have a association with the resistor and the footprint here. Uh, we should have a diode as well. Say the same uh, surface mount diode like that. Double click. And the push button. We'll go for that one. Switch push small footprint. Double click it. And now we have the battery. We should select some battery holder. CR or something. Take that one, double click, so, okay. And we can close that one and we can save this. Close it. And now we can run PCB new. We can do it from this window here, or we can open it up from here. And as usual, you get some warning about that this file doesn't exist yet, and that's normal. Just press OK. So where are all the components? They are not here. They are not imported yet. So to import the associated netlist and the, the components, you go up here to read netlist, read current netlist, And underneath here, you see some components. Let's close this one. If you zoom in there, all the components are stuffed uh, on top of each other, and that's not good. So, to spread this out, you can select one component and drag it out, and the next component and drag it out. But there is an easier way, and that is to go up to this icon and then right click over here and select glob move or global move and move all modules so move modules yes and then it spreads every component out like this that's good and let's press M as in move for that component M as in move for that component Canvas and move for that component. Canvas and move for that component. 
great. Something like that. And these white wires that goes from components to component is the so-called rests nets. They indicate that this pin should be connected to that pin and that pin. That pin over here should be connected down to this pin and that pin. And when you lay this out, you should keep these rats nests as short as possible and avoid them to cross each other's. So this one here is probably better to move this, move and then rotate with the R key. See, it's better to have it that way. So that one's connected down there and that one over here. And we move that one as well, move. And these are crossed, so that's not a good thing. We rotate them by pressing R. And that looks much better. And we can move that one. Maybe rotate it like that. And move that one over here somewhere. And if we now want to connect uh, our components with uh, wires, we go here, add tracks and vias, click it, and we can add a, a wire from here to this place. That's totally okay. And we can see the rest nest here that these two should be connected as well. So, um, click here, connect that one. And there's an indication, the rat's nest here, that indicate that this pad should connect down here. So click there, drag it down here, double click, and that didn't work. I try it again. And the reason for that this doesn't work is that this component and this large component are created with a grid of 50, I think 50 thou, let's see here. Yeah, grid selects, no, 50 mils, 50 mils, I mean. And this component is not created in 50 mils. So you can see this is a grid of 50 mils. And you can see these dots here. It doesn't align in center here. So, in that case, you could go and if it doesn't work from this point down here, you can go from this point up here. And that should work in most cases. If it doesn't work, you could change the grid size here. So, you can go in, uh, right click, go to grid select, and choose maybe a quarter uh, or choose. A very very small one, and then you might uh, get it to work anyway. So, but let's put the grid size back to 50 mils, like that. So let's connect that one with that, and that one over there. Now that this didn't work, so I go from that direction there, and that works. And now we have connected every single rest net. If we want to delete a wire, we can go up here, double click or select, then right click delete, delete track. So we can delete this way, delete. final track to delete here and before we delete it we can see that the name of the track is also here so this is the netlist ground track so 
this net name is called GND for ground. So track, delete, delete track. Now we have deleted all the tracks and, and we still have this rest snap here. We can disable this by go here, click that. It's a show board rats, rats nest. Uh, click it again and we enable it. And sometimes you don't want to see all the, uh, the rats nest and then you can disable that and go over here and let's see here. I think it's uh, that one. Display local rats nest. So click there, add, then only display this rat nest. So let's connect all the wires again. See, show all rat nest. There, there. So, so let's move in here. We can see that this net name is called net. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4. This one is called net 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 because it's the same net. They're connected to the same point, so to speak. And this one's called plus 5 volt. And this is the net name net 0, 0, 0, 0, 3. Okay, the final thing I want to do before I end this video is to create a board outline. If we go up here, we see a little drop down box here. And this indicates where you are drawing on. So in this case, it's selected for copper bottom and we want to draw on edge cut layer. So edge cut and then select Add graphic line or polygon. And then we just start drawing. We could use the spacebar to align. In the bottom here, you see X and Y coordinates. And if we press the spacebar, the difference, the origin will be fixed to this place. You can see that down here. And so we start the origin here by pressing the spacebar. Now we just go and write. Mm -hmm. No, let's do it a little bit tighter, like something like that. Spacebar there. That's origin. And we go out like two. Go down like. 1.5 maybe, go back to zero, oh it's here, that should be zero, no, yeah, zero, and go up again, and double click, hmm. and now we have our outline for our printed circuit board. This yellow square. This is the size that our circuit board is going to be produced as. So this is not the frame for the PCB. This yellow line is the frame for the PCB. There is one little thing that I have done wrong here and it's quite a big mistake and that is that the wires that I have drawn is colored green and that means that they are drawn on the bottom copper side he has in bottom and all these components are on the top side so the through hole components like these two it doesn't matter because they have a pad on the bottom side as well so when I connect the ground here over to this ground the through hole components actually are connected but the surface mount components they are on the top side and there are no connection to the bottom side so the wires I have drawn here they are actually drawn on the bottom side and 
they are not connected. You can see that because the rat's nest wire is still here. It's not being connected. So what we need to do is to delete these wires. I can just select everything like this. And uh, I only want to include wires. So I um, disable everything like this, except wires. So I select all these wires and delete block. So surface mount components here are not connected. So let's go up to the front copper side. Let's mark as red. And as you can see also the pad on the surface mount components are red. And that's an indication that it's on the front top side. So let's place a wire here, from there down to here, from there, over here, and from there over there. So the rat's nest wires are gone and everything is connected as it should be.